Today, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most powerful players in Rise of Kingdoms. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, today's video is all about power, okay? It's all about who are the most powerful warriors in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, if you guys don't know, you can take a look here in the rankings and it will tell you who the most powerful player is in your kingdom. It won't tell you who the most powerful players are in your continent or in any other server. And for that reason, it's actually kind of difficult to get a good idea as to who and where the most powerful warriors are. Now I know what you're thinking. Why can't you just go in and make a new character in a kingdom and then pop over here and check that kingdom's ranking and then now you know. Well, the problem with that is that Rise of Kingdoms doesn't really want people to be able to just spy on all of the kingdom's most powerful warriors, so there is a barrier to entry. You have to be at least City Hall level 8 before you can actually take a look at the top rankings. So that's a little bit annoying, but fear not ladies and gentlemen, because Omniarch is here. Okay. I have no life. And I went in and I created an account in some of the most powerful kingdoms in rise of kingdoms. And I got all of these accounts up to city hall level eight. Now I know that there are other players who have done this and there are lists that are compiled online of the top players, the top alliances, the most kills, all that stuff. Right. But I wanted to see these accounts with my own two eyes. I wanted to see them in real time at this exact moment of recording this video. What are these players power levels? And we did it. We've compiled a top 10 list of the most powerful players. Now, before we jump into it, guys, if you enjoy rise of kingdoms, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload one of these videos. And of course, smack that thumbs up on it. It really helps out the video with the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, strap yourself in because this journey is going to take us across all sorts of different lands, different continents and different kingdoms. So we can figure out who are the 10 most powerful warriors in rise of kingdoms i guess one more disclaimer is that this list is changing constantly right kingdoms are dropping power players are dropping power to migrate players get zeroed players quit and they stop playing there's a lot of things that will change this list and literally this list change could change every three days right these players are insane spenders and most of them are insane fighters as well so keep that in mind when i upload this video it may be slightly different if i missed any Buddy, just make sure you comment down below. So the warrior at number 10 brings us all the way to the far off land of kingdom 1960. And this warrior goes by the name of GT surgeon. I don't know if I pronounced that. I'm so sorry if that was wrong, but this absolute mad lad has just broken 500 million power. That's right. Number 10, the weakest warrior on this list has 500 million power. Now I know that power isn't exactly correlated to strength, right? And I'm, I'm in no way saying that this player is weak, right? I'm just saying in terms of actual amount of power, we're starting the list at 500 million. That is insane. We're looking at 3.8 billion kill points. Okay. We have 2 billion T5 kill points, 1.7 billion T4 kill points. His achievements, we're looking at him showing Going off his Minamoto. That's right. Complete the 10th mission in Expedition. That's incredible. Only a true warrior could complete the 10th mission in Expedition. I can't believe it. This is his highest power ever. So he is currently at his most powerful state. We've got 22 million deads, tons of scouts, lots of resource assistance, and he's going here with the Germany civilization. Good choice, surgeon. Moving on to number nine, we bring ourselves 100 kingdoms lower on the list to kingdom 1860 with none other than Dark Cookie. Dark Cookie secured the number nine spot by 8.5 million power with a total of 508.5 million power for this player and 4.1 billion kill points. We see 2.7 billion T5 kills and 1.3 billion T4 kills. My man is rocking the Viking civilization, an absolute Nordic legend over here. Okay. We see this gentleman enter the bronze age, absolutely flexing the bronze age on everybody. My man also owns Minamoto quite impressive for a player of his power. Now dark cookies, highest power was actually 746 million. 
so he's lost about 33 percent of his troops since that highest point which is absolutely insane he has 54 million deads and tons of resource assistance as well overall super impressive account i love the viking theme with the avatar frame as well let's move on to number eight number eight brings us to kingdom 1114 with none other than uh hang on let me go ahead and just copy that we'll go like that wolf wolf warriors okay should i call them wolf warriors or fia fia i i don't know but either way number eight on the list has 528 million power with 3.4 billion kill points they are also rocking the germany civilization just like number 10 on the list here we've only got two achievements the gathering of talents and of course special snowflake everybody's got the special snowflake okay we're all pretty special if we've got it if we've played the game enough to get this one this player is pretty much sitting at their highest power ever it looks like they've lost about seven thousand power from their highest so i don't know what happened there if they like filled their hospital and then killed some troops on some barbs or something i don't know either way we've got 31 million deads 153,000 victories overall super impressive and i actually am not a hundred percent sure where this avatar frame came from oh it's only from lucerne scrolls volume 11 that's it okay i thought it was something super special it turns out it's just really badass number seven brings us back to the 1900s in kingdom 1947 with none other than 10 bagger now first of all i gotta say this is is definitely one of my favorite avatar frames it's just so badass you just have these two massive cannons just pointing right at you and besides that it's clean it's like military style it's very cool and i love the avatar here we got going on just a cute little cartoon 10 bagger has 553 million power so you can see here we are slowly inching away from that 500 million mark we've got 4.9 billion kill points and my man is also rocking the germany civilization i feel like a part of me thinks that you know not only does the germany have teutonic knights which is awesome but they also get that troop training speed which i just feel like is super useful for these mega whales who are training insane amounts of troops moving on it does look like this is 10 baggers highest power ever at 553 million we also see 340,000 victories and 35 million dead troops the kill point breakdown is 1.9 billion kill points of t5 and 2.9 billion kill points for t4 so few t1 kills that is actually insane he also has absolutely no achievements on the wall here he's not showing off anything even though we come in here and we see that my man has a ton of achievements especially this master and commander 47 out of 70 that's impressive man this is a new category and to top it off we've got this really cute choreographed uh drooling emoji picture here gotta drop a little like on that one if anybody knows what cartoon this is from go ahead and let me know I, I i feel like it's familiar but i have no idea and it's probably not anyway moving on to number six brings us to the kingdom 1556 with none other than foe vn now i definitely recognize this player's icon i've definitely seen this somewhere before an absolute legend with 575 million power and spoiler this is the last player on the list in the 500 million power range he has 7.4 billion kill points in absolute killing machine we see 5.1 billion t5 kill points with 2.2 billion t4 kill points absolutely insane also rocking the germany civilization that is a trend here in this video you can see we've got some really impressive uh achievements here on the wall we've unlocking the expertise for ramses and for Harold. In the middle, we've got a Master of Equipment, Infinite Blade Forge. Interesting. We see Special Snowflake, of course, and Gathering of Talents. Taking a look at his highest power ever, this is currently Foe's most powerful state with 289,000 victories, 52 million dead troops, absolute insane resource assistance down here a truly legendary account for a truly legendary warrior let's take a look at these pictures here we've got uh three foes i guess maybe he, maybe he's got multiple accounts tucked away 59 million gems holy shit! this must be him this must be the man the myth the legend himself overall an incredible account and truly one of the most powerful players in the game starting off the top five we move over to kingdom 1446 
mix with none other than KVK Miller. KVK Miller is a hundred million power above number five on this list with a total of 676 million power with 3.5 billion kill points he's got the classic golden bull on the avatar frame absolutely beautiful also rocking the germany civilization an absolute must if you're training the amount of troops that these guys are training indeed let's take a look his highest power ever with 684 million power totally insane Seventy-eight thousand victories 17 million dead troops some nice resource assistance there his kill point breakdown is 1.8 billion kill points from t5 1.6 billion kill points from t4 we just got the gathering of talents achievement here it seems like a lot of these top players aren't that interested in achievements they're just here to gain power and kill everybody else they don't really care about these other side missions and tasks you can do it doesn't really matter they just want to win overall super impressive it looks like this may primarily be an infantry player now i'm sure with the amount that they've spent in this game they probably have almost everybody expertise but we do see a lot of infantry up here we see guan yu we see chuk zenobia we see uh pakal on here as well and isun sin also what is guan doing defeating barbarians i'm not really sure what that choice is maybe they're just showing off their favorite commanders here i don't know coming in at number four we have to return to kingdom 1960 that's right that may sound familiar because that's where number 10 was located and we're going to be taking a look at this player the king of the kingdom with the cute little side duck picture here let's just go ahead and copy that name and we paste it and okay well duck guy okay great that makes actually a lot of sense i'm really uh not sure what i expected here <laughs> anyway that's right kingdom 1960 has two players on the top 10 10 most powerful list duck guy coming in with 718 million power oh my god we're getting into absolute beast mode territory here we've got 11.2 billion kill points dude that is insane 6.4 billion t5 kill points with 4.6 billion t4 kill points jesus that is absolute insanity let's take a look at this player's top power he is in fact the most powerful form of Duckman we have ever seen before 349,000 victories 66 million deads totally crazy nice resource assistance here as well we've got a cute little pattern with the achievement wall so we see eight special talented equipments on five commanders what dude that is in eight oh my it means he has 40 special talented pieces of oh god then we've got the gathering of elites we've got the 20 permanent city skins we've got the infinite blade forge as well and we see forge six legendary special talent equipment guys what talk about an absolute Kraken. this is a literal sea monster i can't but well it's a duck actually so it's it's kind of like a little pond monster but he's rocking the ottoman empire getting a lot of use out of that skill damage i'm sure let's take a look at these commanders we've got theodore edward of what edward of what man what are you doing with edward of woodstock over here what's going on man what, what is this we got e, we got esong as the knighthood i don't know about and con what is what what's going on here what's going on here this is this is some silly goose stuff right here actually some silly duck stuff right because uh, anyway so we do have some pictures okay we see the moo baby look at that lambo let's go i i'm not a car guy i have no idea what this is but all i know is these vehicles are expensive was that a g-wagon we got the mercedes are these all his vehicles what that's not do doors don't open like that for poor people i don't even what is happening here this is actually probably the most expensive picture out of all the pictures we've seen already holy shit he has a special talent on literally everything here except for the ring you couldn't just get the come on you can just get the ring dude what what do you what do you pour no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding sponsor the channel please but he's not done yet he's got a special talented everything for his zenobia still not for the ring though pretty pretty upset about those rings and we see a special talented everything for his zhang yu as well holy shit my man has expertise to everything he's special talented everything 
these these are like he's got a full special talented set for archers infantry and calves like what that is actually insane but guys this is only number four on the list let's take a look at number three and to do that we have to come back to kingdom 1122 one of the oldest kingdoms on this list only surpassed by 1114 at the number eight spot but 1122 is home to hang on let's go ahead and let's go ahead and copy this uh we got george wolves over here we got mr mr wolves okay so i'm just gonna call him george okay my guy george has 811 million power 800 dude it's a hundred million more than fourth place and we're uh, oh my 811 million power with 5.3 billion kill points we have 3.4 billion t5 kill points with 1.8 billion t4 kill points my man is rocking the viking civilization and do we have anything no we've got no album here that's unfortunate we do see the ingenious craftsmanship award i don't know what this is it's a sight to behold apparently and we also have the meta breaker how is meta breaker different from gathering of elites has he expertise to every commander is that what it is oh and then of course t5 units this is also george's most powerful state this is the highest power this player has ever been with a hundred and one million dead units 162,000 victories crazy resource assistance here absolutely insane stats the kill points the power everything here is wild shout out to you george whatever you do for a living please like let me in on the secret man what what is it if you guys want me to be like george one day go ahead and uh get some gamer subs use code omni get 10 percent off link down below anyway let's move on to number two on the list of the most powerful players in rise of kingdoms the home of the number two player is kingdom 1412 and it is none other than the fan favorite baba tc out of turk you guys are familiar with him some know him as maybe a man of the people constantly speaking out against lilith but also spending an incredible amount of money in this game baba is no matter how you look at it a true legend in rise of kingdoms with 1.1 billion power that's right you thought george wolves had a lot of power baba is 300 million power higher and of course the first to break the 1 billion power mark here on the list my man is a true warrior with 15 billion 15 billion kill points it breaks down to almost 11 billion being t5 units and 4.6 billion being t4 truly alpha male status here with baba's account insanity insanity we see his entire achievement mall is lit up in true gold special snowflake gathering of elites we've got the gathering of talents we've got the meta breaker and we have a gifted audience it says i rejoice at the sight of such talents in my vicinity what does that mean does that mean he's expertise every commander i don't even know what this is it's crazy to me that even baba hasn't finished all of the achievements here like what what else is left like what, what how are you gonna look at someone like baba and say you haven't achieved everything like look at the power look at the commanders look at the kill point what what is this man not achieved now of course this is not baba's highest power ever he did peak at 1.2 billion power with 302,000 victories he has a, over a hundred million dead troops 104 million absolutely insane craziest resource assistance down here as well truly incredible stuff let's take a look at this uh this album has got some cool stuff in it we got the nice ducati jacket we got him rocking the, the motorcycle here i love to see a look at those likes man baba is a celebrity here in rise of kingdoms i love to see it i mean just look at him. he's got the suit he's rocking it he's absolutely crushing it we love to see it we've got another motorcycle here he looks a little bit younger in this picture but still damn look at all those likes dude when you don't catch baba on the battlefield you catch him on uh two wheels it seems but yeah a true uh a true killer always wears a suit we love to see this album here now i don't know why the commander lineup is not all golden are these commanders not expertise there's no way that Baba doesn't have these commanders expertise, right? So what exactly is, is going on here? I don't know if this is a graphical glitch or something, but everybody else 
shows their commanders glowing and shiny but baba's don't so i don't maybe he hasn't touched these in a while i, I don't know either way baba rocking the ottoman empire is a true king in rise of kingdoms but that's not all because they're still the number one spot on the list now i don't know after that 1 billion power mark what the real difference is right like once you pass the 1 billion mark it just becomes imaginary right like it just doesn't even make it, it just, it's a realm of its own the numbers have almost no meaning at that point however the most powerful player in rise of kingdoms lives in kingdom 1322 he goes by the name and i'm sure you've heard of it before maverick l 1.35 billion power dude what over 200 million power higher than baba this is actually insane except only 3.5 billion kill points so what's going on there the kill point breakdown is 2.2 billion t5 1.2 billion t4 i mean i don't know the power is truly the most powerful in the game but when it comes to the most impressive i feel like baba may have maverick quite a bit beat here we do see he's rocking the germany civilization we don't have anything in the album a very blurry picture here i'm not sure who that character is but we do see the return of probably my favorite avatar frame in the game we got the double cannons right there absolutely insane let's take a look at his highest power ever and in fact he is pretty much at his highest power ever looks like he is he lost 10 power what is what even is that how do you lose 10 power at, a, at, at this size i don't even get it but anyway he's got 193,000 victories 74 million dead troops tons of res actually that resource assistance isn't really much at all that's that's quite impressive there when he needs resources he just takes out the credit card and we do see that his entire account is glowing as well super interesting stuff here we've got the charge captain charlemagne that's uh that's uh maverick my my boy my guy that that's not who you want to really be i mean that's not who you want to rally with. okay well this is interesting i feel like this is a menu that this player has not really touched right because like why these are not the commanders you okay anyway we've got no achievements on the wall but uh we do see he's rocking the very innocent people alliance the vips if you will so uh yeah maverick is the number one most powerful player here in rise of kingdoms and i want to hear from you which of these players on this list are you most impressed by i would love to hear from it in the comments section below is it maverick with his staggering power is it baba with the amazing amount of kill points that he has is it Duckman for the really cute avatar? Let me know in the comments section below. And while you're down there, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. It helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdom players might see it. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. As always, my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. All the links always down below as well as my twitch i have been streaming a little bit more lately i do stream on both youtube and twitch but i do think twitch is a better viewer and chatting experience so follow me over there and there's also a link down below to download rise of kingdoms for your pc it's a program called blue stacks 5 it's my favorite way to play and hey if you don't like it you can always uninstall it but again there's a link down below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace